Okay, so you're going to need to open your template back up. Um, and there's a couple of things that we're going to do to it. One, I'm going to link all the pages. So if you look right now when you click on the text where the link should be, you'll see that it says link and it just says JavaScript something something. Okay, so we're going to need to do the point to file and the first one home goes to index.html. Click on myths and it too should go to myths. Its history goes to the history page. Where it is goes to where and links goes to links. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Now when I hit Command S to save, it's going to ask me if I want to update all the files based on this template. I can click Update, Close. When I go back into my folder and open my index page, I should be able to click and it takes me to all of the pages where I will have a scrolling div. Notice I don't have it here on the links page, but that's because there is not enough text to make it scroll. However, everything else does. Okay, so there is that. So now what I want to do is I want to actually put in some a cascading style sheet to apply to the text. Okay, so I'm going to select I'm still in my template. I'm going to select my title, my H1, and I'm going to cl click here where it says New CSS Rule. I'm in my CSS Styles panel. I'm going to do a tag. Because I have that selected, it automatically knows I want to do an H1, and I want to do a new style sheet file. It's going to prompt me to save it, and so I'm going to call it Styles. It's going to give it the .css extension. And when I click Save, it brings me here so that I can define what my style looks like. Now, I have options. Remember that the font we used for everything else was Arial Black. If I look here at my drop-down list, I see Arial. Oh, and here's Arial Black right here. So if I choose Arial Black, I can hit Apply. I can see the font. And I can decide what I want to change further. Do I want my font weight to be a little bit lighter? I think I do. I think my font size should be a little bit bigger than what it is. I'm not sure what size it is right now, though. Okay, so t t let's see, t point. Okay, so it looked like it was about 24 points. So I'm going to just go make it up to 26 point. Click Apply. And I'm keeping it the same black color that it was and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now if I look up here in my CSS styles, there is H1, there are the properties that go with it. Now here I have body content. So if I highlight that, add a new CSS style, it's also going to be based on a tag. Because I have it selected, it chose the P tag, and it's going to put it in the styles.css. Now if I click OK, I can choose a font to go with it. Now Arial has several fonts in their font family. And if we chose Arial Black for the top, then maybe Arial might be good for the rest of the text. So I'm going to choose Arial. I'm going to make my font size, let's try 14 point and see. I think 14 point is good. The line height then should be um, I'm going to say 18 point, may have to adjust that, but we'll try that and everything else is going to be default. So I'm going to click OK. Now when I save and update, I can go to my folder and look at the different pages and, oh, that's right. Remember that here in Dreamweaver, not only do you have to save the template, but you have to save the styles. You can do that by clicking on styles or you can simply write a control click and do save all. Now if I go here and refresh, now I should see my font changed. 
I do think that the line height is good for 14 point. I can check my other pages. Notice I have its history um, somewhere on one of these myths. Okay, I think that's just bold. Those aren't actually headings. And we have links. Okay, so there we have done all of our updating of our site using cascading style sheet and linking the pages.